Hello everybody, I'm your friendly neighborhood Ohio man, and welcome to my weekly news and video roundup. <laughs> so, this was a pretty quiet week. There really wasn't much going on, like there weren't any too big announcements, there weren't like big reveals of any console, there wasn't any like big controversy over the release of a game that people couldn't even get into the online servers, and it was causing a big uproar, and they tried to get refunds, but they said it wouldn't happen, and so everybody's just all around pissed. Nothing of that sort has happened, so, it, like I said, pretty quiet. However, someone who wasn't quiet this week was PETA, who was pissed that Assassin's Creed 4 is going to have whaling in the game, and they said that harpooning a whale is considered disgraceful. I think they're getting a little extreme with this. I mean, it's not like this is the first time that Assassin's Creed has had hunting animals in a game. It, I'm just going to back up a little bit. It's a game about assassins where they're killing people as, like, the primary objective in the game. That's okay with them, but hunting whales? Whoa, slow down there. I mean, it's a game. It's not like peop it's encouraging people to go hunting whales on just their free time. Because, oh, look how fun it is in this game. Also, it's a game about pirates. I, I think the spokesperson for Ubisoft said it best. I'm going to read this exactly. They said, We do not condone illegal whaling, just as we don't condone a pirate lifestyle of poor hygiene, plundering, hijacking ships, and over-the-legal limit drunken debauchery. It, it, just take it as it is. It's a video game, and they're just trying to make it, like, as realistic as possible. They're not saying do what's happening in this game, but it's just trying to represent how the lifestyle was in the time. Also, it's not like this is the first time that there's been hunting animals in the Assassin's Creed series, and also in video games in general. I mean, what about in Assassin's Creed 3, when you just run up to a small little beaver trying to escape, and you just stab it, and it goes, eek! That, like, killed me every time I had to kill a beaver to, like, get the pelt off of it to sell it. How come they didn't say anything about that? What, is it just because the main character was like Native American? It's like, oh, the Native Americans, they always hunt animals, so that's not bad or anything. That's being racist. And what about in other games, like Red Dead Redemption? In that game, if you wanted to, you could just go up to a moose and just go, Fu-pa! Punch it in the face. They didn't give a shit about that. But the moment you try to harm a whale, whoa. Back off. You're going crossing the line, mister. And what was talking about Assassin's Creed, the game director for Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, he said that, for this game, they always had a plan that it was going to be Edward Kenway as the main character because they had this idea for, like, the Kenway family story arc. But he said that in the future of the series, there's no reason why they sh wouldn't have, like, a female protagonist, which I could see definitely working, having a female assassin. For one thing, I doubt all of Desmond's ancestors were male assassins. I'm sure he had some females, so they could work that into the game. Also, since Ad uh, Desmond is a descendant of Adam, they could also focus on like a modern day descendant of Eve and maybe have like her ancestors who could be mostly female assassins. So that would be an interesting way if they took the story that way. That would, I could definitely see that working. Plus, this is, they've already had a uh, female assassins as a lead one in the Assassin's Creed Liberation, I believe. It was the PS Vita game and they had a female there. So it would be cool to see them like branching out outside of just like the male assassins are super strong and awesome. Hi. And the movie front, George Lucas pretty much spilled the beans that Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, and Harrison Ford are all going to be returning for Star Wars Episode 7. Because he said something along the lines of, they were in final negotiations with them, and he's like, oh, wait, I'm not sure how much I should say because I know they wanted to do like a big, super souped up reveal and stuff like that. But the last time I checked, we were in final negotiations with them. So pretty much he's saying that Luke, Han, and Leia are all returning. I don't know why they're doing such a big deal about, like, them returning. I mean, there's been so many rumors at this point that they're coming back that people are already pretty much just like, yeah, they're coming back, just confirmed, so now we're just waiting for them to say something official. I mean, since there's so many rumors out, why do you keep denying it? Just admit that they're coming back. You don't need to do this whole big spectacle. I mean, it's similar to J.J. Abrams with what he's doing with uh, Star Trek. Like, he's not revealing who Ben and the Cumberbatch is playing. There are so many theories going around that I'm sure there are some that fans are, like, coming up with that might be better with what J.J. Abrams did. And when he finally renounces who the villain is, there might cause people to be disappointed. So just come out with who the villain's going to be already and just stop, like, all the fan theories that might be better than yours and get rid of any disappointment that might be coming. But also with the Star Wars movie, I wonder how they're going to take the storyline. Because there is the whole expanded universe with the books that takes place after episode 6. So are they going to, like, base it on that? Or are they just going to go on, like, their own entirely different storyline that's going to just pretty much ignore those? Because 
if they did that, that would be pissing off a lot of Star Wars fans. Because, as of right now, that's all, like, stuff that's canon. But the movies always take precedence over the Expanded Universe stuff. And if they make, like, a different timeline or universe from the Expanded Universe, then it's going to make all of that pretty much just a really elaborate fan fiction that's been come up with over the years. And that's going to, like, piss off a lot of people, I'm sure, make many of them upset. Like, I know that I would be, because I've got a ton of the books. I still haven't read yet, but I've got them, and apparently, like, so much crap happens in them, and if the movies just ignore that, that would just be terrible. I mean, what they could do is that since it's been, like, 40 years since the last Star Wars, I don't think it's been 40 years yet in, like, the expanded universe timeline since the end of episode 6, so they could have the episode 7, 8, and 9 take place after the point that the expanded universe is at and that way they could just the books can work around that while not negating anything that's happened that way you've got a storyline to base it off of so you're not just coming up with stuff completely there and it's also not pissing off any fans of that expanded universe and you just got it all working and everybody's happy and more star wars movies <laughs> Oh man, this, it, I, I, any thing that they do, like even if I'm pissed that they ignore the canon, if they do that with the expanded universe, I, I'm still gonna be excited for them. Plus the fact that JJ Abrams is doing it, 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 they're gonna be good. Although I'm sure people said that about the prequel trilogy. Anyway, that's all the news I have for you this week, so thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below about anything that I mentioned this week or whatever they feel like talking about. Thanks all again for watching, and I'll see you next week. Oh, and just in case PETA happens to watch this video, I uh, do not condone the punching of mooses in the face, and please don't do it. They are graceful and majestic creatures. But if you do punch a moose in the face, just send me the video link, and I will watch it and give you a thumbs up, because that's going to be fucking awesome. Boop, boop, boop.